Have you ever seen a shark out in the water? No, never. What would you do I've been freaked if out you by saw dolphins. a shark out there, though? <laughs> I'd, be I'd be in so fast. <laughs> the real question is, is would you tell anyone before you started paddling in, or would or... you paddle in and then tell someone? <laughs> that's horrible. That's, that's you using the kids as bait. I'm just saying, that's those are the things that you have to think that of. That you have to figure out. And your decision will reflect your values. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I just realized that whole that whole little thing that I just did, like this, I was yeah. talking, it was zoomed in. So it's gonna be like, oh, oh. that's the worst. I hate that. All right. Um, Today I am doing one of my favorite things to do uh, with one of my favorite people to do it with. Uh, I'm going surfing with Ryan Ross, which I'm, I'm super excited about. Uh, Ryan and I know each other from... I was volunteering at a church for the youth group, for the middle school group, when he got hired as like the main middle school pastor. Uh, and there's a really great story about when we, when he first came down from, from the Bay, he was, he was from the Bay area. He came down to visit the church and he texted me and he said, Hey, let's hang out. And I, and I didn't know that he was like for sure the pastor yet. I thought they were still like talking to a few people. And I was like, I don't know, like I feel weird about, uh, hanging out with one of the people that's interviewing for the job when maybe he's not going to be the guy. Anyways, he doesn't let me live that down. I didn't, I didn't even respond to him. Uh, it was my, it was my bad. Uh, and since then, that's 2017, 14 years ago? Yeah, 14 years ago. Wow, that is crazy. How was that 14 years ago? Um, yeah, anyways, so he's been one of my good buddies ever since and he married us, me and Morgan. He didn't act, marry, he, you know, he did the thing, the officiating. But uh, yeah, we're going surfing. I'm, I'm, I'm real excited. He's, he's not here yet though, he's picking me up. I gotta wait for him. While I wait for him, I'm gonna get my surf tank ready. And if you don't know what a surf tank is, you should, because they're awesome. Oh, so, you're looking so cute over there, dude. What are you, what are you doing? Are you just looking adorable? Do you know that I'm leaving? Can you tell that I'm leaving? Yeah. She can definitely tell when I'm leaving. She gets really sad. It's all mopey. Look, she's following me. She's freaked out. She's like, don't leave me, oh my gosh. All right. All right, this is a surf tank. We would go surfing all the time, and when we go surf, we bring like, like gallon water jugs or we bring like old laundry detergent bottles and we would fill them with hot water and take them to the beach and that's what we used to shower after we surfed. So I made this thing, which is basically just a jug of water, but I'll show you why it's different. Cruise to the beach. Cruise to the beach, it won't spill. And when you get there, or after you're done surfing or going to the beach, you switch these two out. And, and this is where the real genius comes in. So you got holes on the top, but what's really important is you've got the tube that goes to the bottom. See, a bunch of these things have holes on the top, but then when you turn them upside down, they don't flow. Uh, and it's because there's no airflow getting to the bottom. So with this thing, look at that. It's a hot shower at the beach. 
So that's the surf tank. I still use it 14, 15 years later. Look at my, uh, I don't know if you saw this part, but it says, don't leave the beach with sand in your crack. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. You know why? This is this is what the whole thing is today. Okay, today's whole vlog now. I mean, it'll be about surfing, but it's gonna be the surf tank versus the rinse kit. We're gonna find out if the thing that I made 10 years ago is a better solution is. than your. Is, do you have to pump it? No, no, you no. hook it to a hose. Well, I so let me give you the tour. Yeah, give me a give me a rinse kit tour. Let me. Here is our. Right now, it's shut off. All you do is turn on, I preloaded it this morning, 20 seconds, you attach it to a hose. Yeah, and the hose is what gives it its pressure, right? Yeah, it goes through here, Boop. you attach it to your little your little faucet, uh -huh. fill it up for 20 seconds, it's full, high pressure. This turns it on, and then right. you go Boop. And how long right. do you have hosage for? Um, like, like full pressure, how? I think it's enough for two people Wetsuits, feet, surfboards, and that's done. So like two minutes, three minutes, three minutes, two to three minutes. Surf tank can only do a <laughs> surf tank can only do a minute and a half. Dang it! Maybe it's because I have higher flow though. I personally loved my surf tank. In fact, I feel like we had bigger ones. This is a smaller surf tank. No, that's that's the one. That's it right there. You just haven't seen it in so long. I forgot how small yours was, I David. <laughs> I forgot how small yours was. It's not very small, all right? We're gonna go uh, fly the drone over the water first and look for sharks. Where? And uh, and then we'll, we'll have more peace of mind out there, at least, knowing that we didn't see sharks from the air. So, uh, yeah. If you don't know anything about what's been going on in San Diego lately, there's been a lot of shark sightings. And there was a shark attack in San Clemente, which is like, I don't know. 30 minutes north of where we're at. So, uh, close enough to really worry. And then there's been a bunch of sightings in San Diego and whatnot, but that, that happens all the time. That's normal. It's not normal that someone gets bit though. That's weird. That's bad. We don't, we don't like that. My, uh, my drones. SD card filled up right as I was chasing pelicans. In theory, we have some really cool pelican footage. It could be so good. It could be so good, or it could just be, it could just end like as I'm trying to get to them. At, yeah. End of part. Crap. Surf tank versus rinse kit. Oh wait, wait. I gotta get music. You can't do this without me. Without music, we need music. All right, all right, show me your rinse kit. Okay. Let's give it a little click on, a little shower. <laughs> I wish this camera did slow-mo, that's funny. Right? Little feet on the dirt, which doesn't make much sense. 
And you think it's got like two minutes in it, maybe All more. Right. But I will tell you, negative, it's cold water. It is cold water. Cold water. All right, so the surf tank doesn't have pressure, and it doesn't, yeah, it's not as cool, like that fancy thing, but it is hot water. Oh. And after getting out of the ocean in San Diego, hot water's pretty nice. I don't know, man, you haven't convinced me today. Oh, oh my God. That is so cold. Wait, are you running out of water? Is that why you're holding it like that? Yeah. You you gotta hold it like that because you're out of water. Hey, I still got half a jug if you need to clean your board, man. <laughs> <laughs> Surf tank sold in no stores anywhere, but it's still pretty awesome. I should do that again. I should sell surf tanks. Yeah, actually. Should make surf tanks and sell them. If anyone wants a surf tank, let me know. $90. Bucks. $90? Yeah. When I did sell Surf Tank, I sold it for 25 bucks. So, I mean, had that going for it. You could do it again. You could do it again. All right, I'm quitting photography. I'm, I have an announcement to make. I'm quitting photography. Honey? Quitting photography and selling Surf Tanks, honey. Let me tell you how happy my wife would be about that. Ryan Ross, I have a question for you. Go. That's almost as good as, um, can you swim in mayonnaise? But even more controversial. Yes, you can swim in mayonnaise. And why do you think that? It's Have been. Did someone do it? It's been proven. No, it hasn't been by proven. By popular discussion. No. Nope. I'm still up in the air about, okay, so here's, here's the, uh, the controversial question. For the first two weeks, so this isn't for like life of, but the first two weeks, is it harder to have a new puppy or a newborn? It, it depends. What's it depend on? If you're the man or the woman. Oh, so, oh, like, I mean, oh. Totally, I'd say puppy, but the newborn, I'm not. Are you pointing to your, like you don't have? There's a difference I between can't. us. I can't. I uh. can't. <laughs> okay. I actually think a puppy's harder. Rachel, okay, my wife may totally think differently. I would say puppy is harder. Way more energy, they do stuff, yes. they're more mobile. A newborn does nothing. Okay, that's my point. My point is like- But, I slept a lot more than Rachel did. Well. So she may argue differently. See, but with a puppy, Morgan has slept much more than I have. Oh yeah. That's, you can diaper that puppy up. I can't, no, I'm not diapering my puppy. Everyone says that when I say that. But you shouldn't, don't put diapers on puppies. That's weird. I feel bad for the guy that left his wetsuit. <laughs>